So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about six items that I've been enjoying this springtime for my look. You guys know I've been on this fitness slash weight loss journey for the last little while. Actually, it's been a while, a very long while. But anyway, so one of the things, if you watch my vlogs that I've been talking about a lot, has been enjoying your body at whatever size you are. Because often, especially as women, we have this tendency to wait until we're perfect before we kind of debut ourselves to the world. Mm -mm, not anymore, not this year, guys. I'm doing it now. I've not reached my ideal size. As you guys know, I have my goals and I believe I'm going to reach my goals this year of achieving the best body that I've ever had in my entire life and the best health and the best fitness and the best everything this year is it for me but until then I just obviously still wear clothes and I want to look good like everybody else and so yeah I figured I'll show you guys some of the items that I feel are kind of enjoyable for those of us who are in our in-between sizes so I personally love high-rise pants I don't have enough high-rise pants and I wish I had more they're kind of like granny jeans or mommy jeans or whatever people call them but basically what those pants do for you guys is they snatch your waist I have some proud love handles and if I wear high-rise jeans it kind of just scoops them inside it gives me a waist get yourself a pair of mid or high-rise pants so these are the buffalo mid-rise or high-rise pants I'm not a hundred percent sure but I will write it down they definitely scoop you in and make you look much leaner than you would if you're wearing like low-rise pants that tend to show your love handles. The next item on the list is wearing tops like these. So I like to wear tops that show my decolletage just because this is the most feminine part, in my opinion, of a woman's body. And it, it has this sort of softness, even if you are a bit like rounder or chubbier like the rest, like some of us, it just kind of makes you look more feminine, if that makes sense and it's a flattering look I think on pretty much everybody and so yeah so I do like wearing tops that are a little bit like that I sometimes choose to wear stripes you guys I don't always wear stripes because they are kind of controversial right like people say sometimes that you know stripes make you look rounder or wider but I personally kind of feel that horizontal stripes on people like my size are kind of flattering especially if it's a top so I tend to wear whites blacks and whites and neutrals and and blushes most of the time and to kind of add to that range I wear stripes just as a way to kind of show like some type of dimension if you are gonna wear a top like this like one that is a off-the-shoulder top then you might obviously want to get something like a, a necklace like a little accent uh, piece for your neck you need something that will cut your neck in a way because in my case I have like a double chin as you can tell like I have like rolls of fat under my on my neck and so you know you don't want people to pay attention to that uh, the whole time and so a little nice necklace will do a great job at um, kind of breaking that area for you this necklace I believe is from forever 21 the next item is a leather jacket I have never thought that I would like wearing leather jackets because I grew up in the 90s right and everybody and their pet had a leather jacket and they associated it with these older people who were just obsessed with leather jackets and so in my head I was like I would never own something that looks like that but here I am if there's a jacket that every single person should own in their closet it's a leather jacket a leather jacket adds this sort of sophistication to whatever outfit that you have so you could be wearing just a regular t-shirt like this and a pair of jeans but if you th throw on a, a leather jacket over it it just kind of lifts the entire look it's moves from being casual to being like chic and stylish and meanwhile it's just a simple outfit if you're vegan or anti leather or whatever it is there's so many options nowadays where you can get really nice non leather leather jackets but yeah y'all need a leather jacket the next item is obviously shoes I've been wearing these shoes shoes the entire spring they are basically just regular booties and they're by Sam Endelman get yourself a pair a nice pair of booties because it's springtime it's still sometimes kind of cold you want something that resembles a knee boot but not a knee boot because it's way too warm for that now we all know that if you wear heels you look leaner than you actually are just because that height kind of distributes itself let's fool them until we get to our size how about that then the last thing that I'll talk about is color I personally 
stay in the ranges like I said of like the blacks white blushes like very neutral colors but I think it's so important especially for springtime to add a pop of color a way you could add a pop of color is by adding a nice lipstick to your look in this case I'm wearing Ruby Woo by Mac you could do it on your lips you could do it on your eyes you could have very bold eyes I don't know much about the eye situation so I stick to lipsticks personally great way to do to get a pop of color on your look is to wear bright colored nail polish and by bright colored it doesn't have to be yellow but what I mean is like it could be a nice red nail polish or whatever color that you fancy in this case I'm not wearing nail polish when you're wearing one bold thing like if you have one bold lip you do not want a bold nail polish as well like it just looks too much like bold eye bold nail polish but that's that's a lot it's a lot to deal with like it's too much we don't want to draw that much attention to ourselves pick something that you're gonna wear that has color if you choose to wear neutrals like I do let me know what you guys think about this and give me some ideas as well about how you dress for spring or some of the things that you like to wear in the springtime make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and be sure to also follow me on Instagram if you don't already do other than that I will see you guys in the next video bye